Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well this is a follow-up to the previous video where I was uh, showing how quiet the doublet was. Now um, I want to preface this by saying I'm not knocking the uh, end fed half wave design by the way and some people I think got that impression from the previous video that it, that it was a, a negative video towards the end fed half wave antennas. Actually it's the other way around. It was a positive video towards the doublet I just used the end-fed half wave that I had because it was a nice example of a raw antenna, meaning an antenna without any kind of a additional choking or, you know, any, any attempts at reducing noise. It was just a raw resonant antenna as a comparison. Now, there were a few comments, and of course I knew everybody was going to ask the question, why not put a choke on the end-fed half wave? Well, okay, like I said, we were focusing on the doublet on the past previous video, but I intended fully to do that, and it's just that video was getting a little long. So in this video, I'm putting a common mode choke on the end-fed half wave, and we're going to look at its noise again and see if there was an improvement and how much of an improvement there was. So first off, I need a one-to-one -one common mode choke. Well, I had one that I made several years ago, but I updated it slightly with a different core. Let's go look at that. So this is a common mode choke that I built years ago. And I don't remember what core type I used in it, so we're going to open it up and take a look. Ah, okay. That's a type 2 core, which is an iron powder core. So, uh, to make the test as fair as possible, I'm going to rewind using this type 43 core. The same core that I used, cores, that I used in the uh, 4 to 1 balance. So I'm going to get this rewound and replaced, and then we'll have a proper choke. Okay, there we go. Common mode choke with the proper core, or at least the core that matches what I'm using in the other antenna. All i got to do is just put the box back together, hook it up, and we'll see how it does. So now that I've got my choke updated, I went ahead and put it in line with the unfed half wave, as you can see here. And by the way, I also want to clarify another point um, based on comments on the last video. The doublet and the unfed half wave are both configured very close to the same. They're both inverted Vs. They're about the same height. The unfed half wave is just slightly lower on the mast. Um, and I do have a ground rod and a counterpoise wire on the unfed half wave. So I put the choke on it, and the first thing I did was I swept it uh, with the VNA to compare it uh, to how it was before the choke. And here uh, is the sweep before the choke, and you can see where I've marked the lowest SWR point. And then here is a sweep after adding the choke. And as you can see, the resonance point of the antenna didn't shift up or down in frequency. The SWR came up just slightly, and that's probably due to the additional connectors and length of cable and that that was put in line with it but not much of a difference at all for all intents and purposes the sweep is still pretty much the same so we did not affect the antenna that way okay let's go to the uh, sdr and let's compare how the nfed half wave is working now with the choke on it okay now we're going to look at the nfed half wave with the choke now this is the original video and uh, the first test that I showed, this was uh, on the short wave band, 15770. And the end-fed half wave, which is this upper part here, the lighter blue, you can see the hash noise from the inverters. And this was the doublet here below for comparison where there wasn't any noise. And this is the end-fed half wave on the same frequency with the choke. And as you can see, we don't see any of that hash noise. Back at the original picture, see it here? We go back here and we can see it's not there. The choke is uh, taking care of that noise and we don't hear it either. 
from local beaches and ocean water. So that's the end fed half wave. I'll switch to the doublet. The money raised was donated to the Tamil Slightly stronger signals. The doublet's a little more sensitive. This is not noise. This is a faint um, DRM digital radio transmission. It's fading in and out. But you don't see any of that squiggly hash. This is the doublet. Go back to the end fed half wave. And as you can see, no additional noise. The choke is making a huge difference. So the choke is making it a little bit more of a level playing field. Let's go look at one of the other samples we had, which was, I think, around 13. Okay, so here is the other area that was really obvious in the other uh, video. You can see the strong hash noise here. And today is no different, shouldn't be any different. Uh, we got sun, we got the same RVs around me, so we should have the same exact noise sources. And yet, with the choke, we don't see any noise. Look at that. This was before the choke. 13.2, just above it, right around 13.1, big hash. Right around 13.1, nothing. Just above 13.2, nothing. So the choke is making a huge difference. Um, and I'll switch back to the doublet. Signals came up a little bit. The doublet's a little bit bigger, 120 feet versus the 66 feet of the 40 meter end fed half wave. So more capture area, stronger signals. But now the end fed half wave is competing as far as noise reduction. And then of course the other obvious place to look is 40 meters where the antenna is resonant which is a big mess <clears throat> lots of signals short wave stations up here but we don't see uh, any of that well I see a little squiggly hash noise over here what am I on I'm on the end fed half wave see it there just a little bit so let's look at that while I switch to the doublet Now you can still kind of see it there a little bit. See it? The antenna tuner back in. And we'll go back to the end fed half wave. Okay, so the choke is not getting 100% of it. We still see some of that hash right there between these two signals. And right here. And there's some right there. See that squiggly hash? That's the noise. And this is on the end-fed half wave. Now I'm going to switch back to the doublet. And as you can see, it went away a little bit. So we're still not quite as quiet as the doublet, but it's getting awfully close. So putting an end-fed choke on your, or putting a common mode choke on your end-fed half wave definitely improves the noise situation a great deal. So there you go. If you add a choke to your end fed half wave antenna or uh, your dipole antenna, your fan dipole, or any, any kind of a regular old wire dipole type antenna, um, it will definitely reduce hash noise. Now, it's not gonna reduce birdies, uh, just to clarify something here. Um, spurious signals put off by equipment, um, more like my inverter, and, and other pieces of equipment, they'll generate um, birdies, right? They are, they are actual uh, signals, actual continuous wave signals being created, spurs um, and harmonics from the, uh, the oscillator inside the piece of equipment, stuff like that. Those are signals. Um, they are continuous wave signals with a defined waveform. They're gonna be picked up by the antenna. They're gonna come down the feed line in, in a differential way, not in common mode, and they're gonna go right through a choke. So you're not gonna eliminate those types of noise sources with a common mode choke. What you are gonna cut back on is common mode noise, which is generally like hash noise being created by equipment. Um, arcs and sparks like in, in, in motors um, that generate, you know, that, that, that hash. That type of noise is not really a defined waveform. You know, it's, it's kind of like white noise in the audio spectrum. It's just a general RF garbage that's being thrown off, kind of like the old spark gap transmitters used to do. And that gets picked up by the feed line and the antenna the same. It all comes down the feed line 
symmetrically in, in sync and together as if, the, as if the feed line is one conductor instead of two. It all comes down there together and that goes through that choke which then prevent, creates a choking action and cuts it off. So you are going to definitely reduce hash noise, right, from switching power supplies, um, those little wall wart things, LED lights, that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to reduce that, but it's not going to reduce actual signals that are being generated by equipment, birdies. So that's, you know, just you got to have realistic expectations upon what you can achieve by adding a choke. But all that said, adding a one-to-one -one common mode choke to um, an end-fed half wave, a dipole, any other type of antenna is definitely going to help reduce the noise. All right, well, that's that. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.